Del Rock Hannas and our roving commentator Jim Leeming journey to North Adams, Massachusetts to look in on the light heavyweight king Archie Moore as he prepares to challenge Rocky Marciano for the heavyweight title on September 20th at Yankee Stadium. Under the guidance of his trainer, Cheerful Norman, Archie gets set for some sparring with Dynamite Brown, who is a pressing brawler with a style similar to Marciano. Moore, who is at least 38, has been fighting for 20 years and has fought a total of 144 bouts, winning 125 with 90 KOs to his credit. Among Moore's defeats, three have been scored by the former heavyweight champion, Ezard Charles, including a knockout in 1948. Archie, wearing all white, shows his defensive ability against Dynamite Brown. Archie won the light heavyweight crown in 1952 when he beat Joy Maxim. In Moore's last defense of his title, he KO'd the middleweight champ Bobo Olsen in three rounds. Let's join Jim Leeming as he interviews Archie with cheerful Norman looking on. We all know and we've all read and heard of the great confidence, and I can vouch for it that we have great confidence in this camp uh, about this coming fight with the heavyweight champion, Rocky Marciano. Arch, I know it goes right from the bottom right on up to you. Yes, Jim, uh, everybody in this camp is very confident of the winning of the fight, and I am especially because it is something I wanted for so long. And I have uh, laid certain plans and practiced certain things mm -hmm. to uh, lead to winning this fight from Rocky. And I believe sincerely that I can, without trying to sound that I'm bragging, but I, it's just that I'm confident of my ability. Do you feel, Archie, that uh, you can uh, knock Marciano out? Of course, he never has been. Well, that's always the first time. Uh, I remember one time I thought that I couldn't be knocked out, but I have been knocked out, too. Mm -hmm. So, Mar Marciano is, is human like anyone else, I suppose. And he can be knocked out. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows, of course, that Archie Moore is not only a great boxer, but he's also a great puncher. Now, um, Marciano has the reputation, and anyone who has seen him would certainly agree that he is a great puncher, and uh, he of course, sort of wades in. Is he a tough kind of a guy to fight, Archie? I don't know. I never fought him, but I think that he would be sort of a tough opponent to fight because of his style, always moving in. And like you gave me a good little plug, I'm not a, a great puncher, I'm just a sharp hitter. Mm -hmm. But I can get the right effects. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between a great puncher and, uh, as you say, a sharp hitter? Well, a sharp puncher can get the uh, same effect as a great hitter. Mm -hmm. uh, now, one other question. Uh, before we leave, uh, Archie Moore, uh, we'd like to uh, ask him the question that uh, everybody wants to know as a final one. Uh, just how do you think you're going to go on the night of the fight? Well, as I always said, uh, I believe that I'm going to win this fight. Mm -hmm. Why should I feel any other way? Wonderful. Thank you very much, Archie Moore. Now to New York State and Grossinger's, the fabulous Catskill Resort where Rocky is training. Jim Leeming interviews Rocky and his manager, Al Weil, prior to the training session. From Grossinger, New York, the training base of the heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano, this is Jim Leeming. And with me, we have the champ and his manager, Mr. Al Weil. First of all, let's talk to Rocky and uh, let's say hello, first of all. Hello, Jim. Now, uh, Rocky, one thing that's always impressed me, and I'm quite sure that's impressed everyone who has ever met you, the fact that, uh, first of all, he's a gentleman and certainly a, uh, a man that you would never expect to be as brutal as he is in the ring. Now, I'd like to ask you, uh, what happens when you get into that ring, Rocky? Well, that bell sounds, Jim. It's a different story in there. It's, it's that man trying to take that title away and myself trying to hold it. Are your feelings, once you step through those ropes, feeling of, of hatred or do, do you have any malice towards the man that you're in there against? Well, we try to get, try to hurt the man in the early rounds so as to make it easier for ourselves. Um, yes, I guess you do have a little hatred in there. Of the fights that you have had since you have been uh, the heavyweight champion of the world, 
Uh, which one uh, stands out in your mind as perhaps the, uh, the toughest? I believe the first Charles fight was the toughest. It was a, a hard fight for me, and uh, I had to come from behind to win. Now, uh, this fight coming up on September 20th at Yankee Stadium in New York, Archie Moore, we visited with him, and uh, if ever I saw a man and a, a camp that I felt was genuinely confident, it's the one at uh, North Adams, Massachusetts. Uh, I don't think there's any question but that uh, Archie fully and honestly expects to win. I, I would guess that a, a, a challenger has to feel that way and he has to say that he's going to win. But I did get the feeling and still have it that Moore felt and feels that he's going to take the championship. Now, uh, how do you feel about that? Well, he still has to prove it to me on September 20th at Yankee Stadium. Uh, I do understand that he is a confident man, and uh, I guess most of the challenges have been that way also. How about as far as uh, the the type of fighter that he is, the type boxer that he is? Do you uh, do you have any any preference as to style? Do you, do you like to, to fight a man with his style, or would you prefer another style? Well, I... I really don't know. Uh, usually when I fight a man, sometimes the style changes just a little bit. Uh, I say that because the way Archie Moore fought Harold Johnson, I believe he will not try to fight me the same uh, style, you might say. Mm -hmm. Rocky, Archie Moore told us when we visited with him at uh, North Adams, Massachusetts, that he expected to come in for this fight at about 187 pounds. Now. How about as far as you're concerned? What do you expect you'll be on the September 20th? I believe I'll weigh just about the same. My best fighting weight is 186 or 7 pounds, and I'm trying for just that weight. And now let's uh, turn here for a moment to the uh, manager of the champion, Al Weil. And uh, this would seem to be perhaps the, uh, the first fight since the Lewis Kahn fight that uh, can reach that uh, million-dollar gate. How do you feel about that, Al? Well, <clears throat> it's really a very big match. The match is timely. The public wants it. They're buying tickets just that they all, if the whole world wants to see it. And I don't think the IBC will have any trouble at all, and the gate will probably 